So we've seen Coyle Logan back in training the past couple of weeks. How is it having other players back in your position to train and compete with in the squad? It's great. I think uh, it's the best way that we all uh, stay in a good level. Uh, also brings a lot of uh, good energy to the to our area, to our goalkeeping area. So I'm just very happy to have her back. Again, Strange, just we're going to be extremely focused in defence. How do you see your role in holding up the line, the back line, sorry? Well, uh, of course we have to be really focused on defending, but also attacking. So I just think it's going to be one of those games that it's uh, very fun to play. And, uh, you know, for a footballer, for a professional footballer, this is the games that you must enjoy. Uh, I think we are very confident in what we can do both defensively and attacking and I think it's going to be, uh, you never know what's going to happen in a game but we are prepared to to be able to react to whatever it is. Hi Pam, in Hi. The, the last game against the Rangers and you were the player of the match, outstanding saves, probably quite unusual for you to be that busy in a match, so what are you expecting this weekend? Well, as I just said, I, I think you never know what's going to happen in a game. Uh, when you uh, expect some things, uh, there are times that they don't happen. But for us, I think it's all about expecting anything, be ready to anything. And of course, each player will be ready to do its role, which on my side as a goalkeeper is to be able to save shots, to contribute with also uh, good decisions in on the ball and I just think uh, we're just going to enjoy it. Did that game, that 0-0 draw, give you a lot of confidence and in the Celtic team? Yes, it did because uh, it was one of the games that you get tested as a goalkeeper and uh, I was just uh, happy to to be able to be there at the right moment and the, the, the right uh, positioning. I think it's all about that, just being very focused throughout the whole match and but not just these games you know it's for me it's um, the mental set is the same for every game uh, it doesn't matter if it's Rangers or some other team on the third division or whatever so that that way you can get to those games prepared you know better prepared. You uh, had a little break because um, there was no game at the weekend you did three games before that and now we're going into a run of three games two of which are against our top rivals and um, for the league and what's the mood in the camp as you're preparing for these games? Well, I, this is uh, how football is. You, sometimes you get the, a lot of games in the same couple of weeks. Uh, sometimes you get the breaks. You just have to do uh, take the, the best out of every situation. So for us, it was all about giving us time to work in a lot of things that we need to polish for, for these games and just in general to improve as a team throughout the season. You've had a brilliant career, and but how much would it mean to you to be a champion in Scotland? That would be uh, one of the best things. I think for me, it's always about being re uh, very, um, you know, uh, I don't have the word, but you know, to, to have your objectives as high as you can. If you don't get it, then next time. But uh, for me, it's very important that we end up the season. Uh, as a good team as we think we are and with the results uh, uh, on our side also. So that would be great. The team's played some brilliant football this season, um, but we've not a big enough crowds really at Airdrie. So what would your message be to the Celtic support to come out Friday night under the lights for the first game against Rangers over the weekend and we've got two chances to beat them? Yes, I think uh, it's a good start for the weekend that they uh, could come to support us and enjoy the atmosphere that it's there. Uh, we we had it last time we played against Rangers at their home at stadium, and I think it would it would be just great for the fans to come in and watch us and support us and just enjoy all of us together this type of games, which are very uh, exciting, you know, for for both teams. And we'll just. Uh, I mean, I don't want to get into the results or anything, but I just hope it's a good weekend for both teams on our side. I mean, for both sides of the Celtic teams. <laughs> You've obviously, as a goalkeeper, yeah. part of the, one of the best defensive backlines in yeah, the league. Our... How enjoyable has that been? Oh, yeah. Not just the backline, the whole team defensively. I think it's uh, it's been an, a huge work uh, each game. So 
it's not about defending on the last side of the pitch or in the goal or on our line, defensive line. Uh, it's about the defensive effort of every player until the striker, and that helps a lot to stop the other teams to get close to our goal.